this video, I will show you how to download and install apps on your MacBook. So whether you have a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, this is going to work perfectly well for you. Now first things first, there are basically two ways to download and install apps on your MacBook. First is to basically use the MacBook App Store. And alternatively, you can actually download and install apps from other sources into your MacBook. And I'm going to show you how to go about that in a second. So to install app from the App Store of your MacBook, you can simply just go ahead and open up the App Store over here. Or if you can't find it here on your MacBook, you just want to go ahead and click on this search icon over here, which will now pull up the spotlight search. Now what you just want to do is to go ahead and search for App Store. And now you're going to see the MacBook App Store over here. Now go ahead and open it up. And once it is opened, you're going to see apps under different categories on the App Store. For instance, you can actually see the Play um, apps and also development apps, you know, different categories over here. Now, it is also important to know that some of the apps here are actually paid and some are actually free. So to download and install any apps, what you just want to do is to go ahead and select that particular app you want. For instance, if I want to download this DuckDuckGo browser app, I'll just go ahead and select it just like so and then click on Get and then click on install and automatically the app will start downloading and installing into my macbook now sometimes it might actually require that you enter your macbook password or id and once you enter the password or id this particular app will start downloading and installing into your macbook immediately now once it is downloaded you can go ahead and open it up directly from here by just clicking on open and now you can literally see the DuckDuckGo browser launched on my macbook over here now this is just one way to download and install apps into your macbook another way to download and install app is to basically search for the app from the developer's website so take for instance if i want to download and install the visual studio code app into my macbook what i will just do is to go ahead and open up safari or any browser on my macbook so i'll just go ahead and open up safari just like so and on the browser you just want to go ahead and search for the app you actually want to download into your macbook so i'll just go ahead and search for visual studio code and then click on search and now it is going to give me a google search result where i can actually find the official visual studio code website now I'll just go ahead and click on download over here and from the official website as you can see over here there are actually different versions of the app on their website now since i am downloading for my macbook or my mac i'll just go ahead and click on mac just like so and at this point, the Visual Studio Code app will be downloaded into my MacBook. So if you come over here, you can actually see that it is actually downloading from here. So once you click on the download button for any of the app you're looking for, the app should start downloading just the same way it is downloading over here on my MacBook. And once it is downloaded, you just want to come over to the Finder app on your MacBook. So just open up the Finder app and then you want to go down to Downloads over here. And then you're going to see the VS Code app I just downloaded from the Safari browser into my MacBook. Now, in order for you to add this app as one of the applications on, on your MacBook, what you just want to do is to go ahead and move this VS Code app we just downloaded into the Applications folder. So what you just want to do is to go ahead and carry it just like so. And then you want to move it to Applications folder. And now it has been added into the Applications folder. So if I come over here and then just scroll down just like so, you're going to find the VS Code app now as one of the applications. And finally, if I come over to the list of apps over here on my MacBook, you can literally see the VS Code app. So if I search for VS Code, you can now see the VS Code app on my MacBook. That will be all on how to download and install apps on your MacBook. If you find this video useful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.